Now we're doing uh, question 35 on section 2.2, and we have to find this limit as x goes to 9. Well, if we let x be 9, we have division by 0, and that's undefined. Here's how you do these problems. You look at the numerator. You employ the concept of the difference of two squares. You multiply it by 1 in the form of the conjugate of the numerator. Now, we're going to multiply this out. And so this equals, and by the way, it work, with this type of problem, this is the way you do it every time. Now, the product of these two uh, uh, expressions is going to be, as you already know from the difference of two squares, x uh, root x times root x, which is x minus and 3 times 3 is 9 all over. And downstairs we have x minus 9 times root x plus 3. Notice these x minus 9's, these are factors. I can put parentheses there if you like. And this is a factor. This is a factor up top. They divide out. We just have a 1 here. So this equals the limit as x goes to 9 of 1 over, and now we'll let x take on the value of 9, the square root of 9 plus 3, and so, but the square root of 9 is just uh, 3, so we get 1 over 3 plus 3, which equals 1 over 6, and we're done. Now we're doing question 43 on uh, section 2.2 and we can simply evaluate this directly. So we've got the limit as x goes to 0 of 2 times the sine of 0 minus 1 well, the sine of 0 is 0, and 2 times 0 is 0, so we just get minus 1, and we're done. Okay, we're doing question uh, 63 on 2.2, and we're given that uh, the square root of the quantity 5 minus 2x squared, which is less than or equal to uh, f of x, which is less than or equal to... Um, and the uh, quant square root of the quantity 5 minus x squared on the interval negative 1 to 1. Uh, with that, we have to find the limit as x goes to 0 of f of x, given this. So here's what we'll do. We'll take, this is called the sandwich theorem, or the squeeze theorem, by the way. We'll take the limit as x goes to 0 of every term. What we do to one term, we have to do to all the others. So we'll take the limit as x goes to 0 of 5 minus 2x squared, which is less than or equal to the limit as x goes to 0 of f of x, which is less than or equal to the limit as x goes to 0 of the square root of 5 minus x squared. Now, we can evaluate this directly just by letting x go to 0, so that limit's simply going to be square root of 5, which is less than or equal to the limit as x goes to 0 of f of x, which is less than or equal to, again, we'll let x be, take on the value of 0, no harm done, and we'll just get square root of 5. Well, then by the sandwich theorem, or the squeeze theorem, uh, x is sandwiched between square root of 5 and square root of 5, so therefore the limit as x goes to 0 of f of x equals the square root of 5. There are no other options, and we're done.